Hello everyone, welcome to another video. It is Francesco here. I hope everyone's doing really, really well. In this video, we're gonna be doing something uh, slightly different. We're gonna be reviewing a Chrome extension. Um, it focuses around productivity, so that's why I wanted to cover it, and it seems like they have done a decent job with this, and I sort of like the experience that they've put around this, the concept itself, so I wanted to share it with you. Now, just before we get started, if you haven't seen the, the latest uh, Things 3.0 feature, I wanted to put it uh, in the description below because that's something that I have recently done. It covers all of the new features inside of the Things application, and I think you'll really enjoy it if you like these productivity applications. Um, and the second thing is the e-newsletter. I put out my first uh, weekly email, which you can now go and to sign up to in the description below. Um, I'm gonna be putting out a weekly newsletter now all about the world of productivity apps, so you'll get updates from, for example, here, um, new videos, new articles, uh, new pieces that you'll find value from, and exclusive content as well. I'm making sure that um, there's as much value as I can add in there and covering those um, different things so that there's a benefit to obviously joining the weekly email. Anyway, let's get stuck into this, and the application that I'm checking out today is a Chrome extension called TaskAid. Now, you have to have, you don't actually have to have an account for this. Um, so it's taskaid.com. Again, I'll include the description, everything in the description. But the idea behind it is you set yourself this, uh, you download the Chrome extension. Once you have the Chrome extension, it will appear every time you open a new tab. Once you open a new tab, you can add lists. And as you can see, they give you a welcome list once you create an account but you can create a list for your day. So whenever you open um, your task aid or new Chrome extension uh, here, it will open that very list. And that's quite nice because, for example, let's say that you're someone who likes to see what you're gonna do in your day or come back to it and you're always in the Chrome browser. I know from my timings data that I'm 50% of my time I'm in the Chrome browser of the time I spend on web. So let's have a look at some of the features inside here. So for example, you can add a title, so you can add something like things to do today. And you can start listing them. And the cool thing with this is you've got this like uh, actionable tick, um, but you can add, I think, so for example, if I put uh, review, taskade, that's how you spell it, and I went down. But let's say you wanted to tab. So if you hit tab on your Chrome, uh, oh, sorry, on your MacBook or whatever you use, it will open up this downwards. And as you can see, the buttons hide away, so it's almost like this list. What's nice is if you have any extremely long one of these and you go down maybe a couple of pages, maybe it's a long to-do list, then you can search stuff. So for example, I put task aid, um, it will bring up all of the stuff that you have on that certain topic, which is nice because let's say you wanted to jump to a certain part of your project. So that search function is really easy to get. Now, you can format stuff, so you can have bold, underline, italics, high highlight stuff. So if, for example, I wanted to highlight this and control E, I could highlight that quite easily. And there is a host of formatting functions here, regular stuff with um, formatting B, U, I. Organizing, you can indent, as I was saying, tab. Uh, you can unindent, so you can shift tab to go backwards. You can collapse and expand a task there. And if you want to complete a task, you just have to click uh, enter. So that's sort of nice, you get that strike through look on it, uh, which is really, really simple and really easy. You're probably wondering, uh, what is this left here on the side here? So share link essentially allows you to send this copy of this list to anyone who'd like to view it. So if I just take this copy and I open up an incognito and paste it into there, it should appear with the list ready for someone to view. So it will give you a really nice list. Um, and as you can see, uh, you can't edit it, but you can only view only, but if you wanna give someone to edit it, so if you've got a team and you want to start sharing things about, then that's an easy way to do it. So for example, if you and your team are looking for a way to start adding to-dos to a list that's shareable, this might be one of your solutions. As I, as I mentioned, it's very simple at the moment. You can only create new lists, share them, view them, and sort of add in some basic functionality. I would just demonstrate what one of the more advanced lists look like in terms of their example. So you can add emoji into it too, which is pretty cool. Um, that's just our minor feature, but something that looks quite nice. But here we are. So we're inside of the task aid. So you can add tags as well. So that's something I didn't mention before, sorry. Um, so you can add hashtags to organize stuff. Um, you can also add ads, uh, which will mention certain people 
inside the project. Uh, so that's quite a nice little uh, addition. So the one thing you can do is down at the bottom, you see this theme section, you can add a random theme or just keep everything plain in terms of colors. So if you wanted a very simple experience, you can, but if you wanted the random setup, um, then you've got the ability to have random photos. I assume they're pulled from Unsplash or something like that. Uh, very nice. Um, but if you want to sh uh, unlock any of the backgrounds, you just have to share them on Twitter and they'll appear in the background. That's quite nice, I think. There's a final additional feature called Archive there, so you can move anything to Archive. But as you can see, a very simple experience. Um, one thing I like about this is the fact that when you open up your new tab, you've got it there and you can easily access it. They've got a help setting, so if you want to look at the FAQ or find out any more information, contact them, then you can. Um, but it, overall, Task Aid looks pretty decent. Um, I mean, it's very basic at the moment, but I wanted to review it because I know a lot of people ask for Chrome extensions and some of this sort of like clearing out the clutter stuff. So here is a Chrome extension that you can download. I'll include everything in the description below. Um, I hope to enjoy this feature. I'm trying to cover more like sort of applications that are outside of the big 10 or 20. Um, so this is one of them, Task Aid, and I'll be doing a few more like this so that you can discover apps that you might be comfortable with that you might find helpful. Anyway guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit subscribe um, because uh, I put up regular videos and I'm sure you'll really enjoy it. And again, if you haven't signed up to the e-newsletter, definitely worth hitting sign up because I think that's something that you'd enjoy. Anyway guys, make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers. Mm -hmm.